As time passes, each lifetime harvests the forces of good and evil inherent in human nature. But nature is volatile. This book chronicles an age when the natural balance was disrupted, when men bowed down to oblivion and a terrifying evil was unleashed. Elders who sought to protect the innocent hid the book. So for a hundred decades, these chapters have remained dormant. But the story has to be told. And even now, as the first page turns, the cancer spreads once more. The light succumbed first, as darkness cloaked the distinctive figure of a twisted man. Souls that were not seduced by his power were bridled with pain until their spirits broke. His warped body was a testament to the pain that he consumed. Even his blood curdled as it seeped through his hollow veins, keeping his vacuous heart pumping. But its beat remained strong and constant, even as his hands tightened round his wife's neck. Slowly, he squeezed the life from her fragile body. She had dared to crave intimacy, and after years of chilling indifference, she'd finally turned to one she thought could save her. Nemesis had been her husband's loathed enemy, they became lovers. Tragically, Silver witnessed their infidelity, sealing both their fates. Silver had savored his wife's pain, knowing that Nemesis would be compelled to exact revenge. He was not disappointed. Nemesis saturated his soul with vengeance and planned Silver's demise. But it was Reuben, an acclaimed artist, who finally offered Nemesis ultimate retribution. He created an exhibition of paintings depicting Silver's life. His rival's vanity assured his attendance at the opening. Reuben soiled each canvas until he required only one image to fulfill his vile biography. Nemesis. Silent below fuse! It is decreed that all women of childbearing age will be taken before the Emperor's silver, so that he may choose a new wife. Any man or woman found impeding this order will be charged with treason and sentenced to immediate execution. You abuse your power. This is a violation of our rights. What rights? You belong to the Emperor. He will do as he pleases. Guards, seize the women. Hey, 
patient, William. My time will come. I trust no one else has a problem, because I've indulged your whining long enough. Guards, you have your orders. Move the women to the galleon now! We'll search the outskirts of town and ensure that no one attempts to evade their duty. Are you in such a hurry to be beaten, Grandfather? Yes. Unfortunately, I am constantly disappointed. But at least my student has confidence. Now, go into the house and get your blade. Amaze me with your swordsmanship. Oh, I didn't hear you get up. I wanted to practice with Grandfather. But you look so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Have you eaten? You'll need to keep healthy to have any chance of beating him. I will. Now we can begin. Hold your sword ready, and never take your eyes off your opponent. We'll start with some basic moves that will ease you into combat. Now you try. Good. I see I'll have to provide you with more of a challenge. Next, we should try the lunge. When performed well, this move is deadly. Good! A powerful movement. You learn quickly. Now, a swipe requires a little more skill than a lunge, but less accuracy. Stand fast, and in one swift move, swipe hard to your right. Like this. Very elegant. I hope your opponents appreciate such artistry. They'll have no choice. It'll be the last thing they ever see. Always consider your assailant's position. This will help determine whether you perform the right swipe, or readjust your stance and swipe left. Good. Now we'll try a different approach. One-on-one -on -one combat is rare. It's more likely that you'll face several assailants at any one time. So you have to be prepared for anything. And this move is vital. Very few of your opponents will have any pride, and would rather leap at you from behind than face you directly. Learn this move well.
Good. Your offensive training is complete. Now you must learn to defend yourself. Your shield is invaluable when countering attacks. Use it well. You defend yourself well. Your training is complete. Get ready to fight, and show me just how good I am. <laughs> He's winning. I'd say it was relatively even at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse us, Jennifer, but David needs a lesson in accuracy. Don't worry, I have the washing to do. Besides, I love to watch you training. Are you still your father's lapdog? Don't you ever learn. I should have dealt with you years ago. You're fortunate that I have more important matters to deal with. Your Emperor Silver requires a new wife. You may even choose this delicate creature. And then again, if my father isn't interested, I may take her for myself. I would kill you first. Steady, lad. Listen to the old man. Your wife is such beauty. And I've gained so little pleasure from destroying it. Take her away. I love you, David. How touching. Women are far too weak. Then the men who prey on them must be cowards. Why are you in such a hurry to die? Guards, stay here and see that they get their wish. Let's go after Jennifer now. It looked like they were heading south, towards the harbor. Let's go. We're wasting time. Too late. This time, but we will get her back. Please, they've taken our daughter. 
you have to help us. We're old and can offer you little, but... Don't worry. We'll help you all we can. Did you see or hear anything that may be useful? Do you know where they're headed? All the women were forced in the galleon. Fuse and some of his guards got into a smaller vessel. And both ships sailed off in different directions. Unfortunately, I don't know where either one is bound, sorry. Where are all the villagers? Or all the angry husbands? Some of the men have already banded together. They took their weapons and left in the direction of Haven. Will she be all right? They won't hurt her, will they? She's all we've got. I couldn't cope if they... <laughs> She'll be all right, love. She'll be all right. Come on. I'll take you home. I am the Chronicler. I shall record your adventures in my book of legends. Tell me of your deeds. I have eight children to support, and very little money, but I am a proud man, and my only request is that you look at me goods. <laughs> I'm a failure, and my... Back again so soon? Sorry, do you want to... Choice. Tell me of your deed.
Haven's Gates. They were built by an ancient race to protect their city from evil. Legends say only the pure of heart may enter. Well, there's only one way to find out if that's true. Come on, lad. If a wicked old man like me can get through, you'll have no problem. But what if my hatred for Silver betrays me? David, he's taken your wife. Your anger is justified. I hope you're right. You! After them! He must have known he would die. Yes, but the punishment for refusing an order would have been far less merciful. I'm not putting one foot back in there. Not unless I can see if it's likely to get bitten off. Don't worry. I doubt any beast would be depraved enough to eat your feet. Nevertheless, it wouldn't be wise to enter. Not until we see what lives in there. This place is too quiet. Did you hear that? First it's too quiet, now it's noises that worry you. It's probably just a couple of larks, nothing to worry about. Strange sounding larks. So I'm no authority on the call of that particular breed. Come on, let's take him! I don't think that would be wise. We'd be slashed to pieces. You would do well to listen to the old man. Show yourself! Only a coward would hide behind his men. What fool calls me a coward when my men surround him? Please, we're not here to fight. We need your help. You must forgive my grandson's somewhat impetuous introduction. He is eager and hot-headed, but no fool. And why should we help you? Fuge has taken my wife on his galleon, and I intend to find her, with or without your help. Bold words. Your confidence is admirable, if not a little naive. Come to our camp. We have the same objectives and we'll help you all we can. But without the exact location of the galleon, what can we do? You'll discover that soon enough. As you can see, we're mostly just farmers and traders, humble people whose wives, daughters, and sisters have been ripped away. Our plight forced us together and compelled us to fight. You're welcome. Feel free to look around. You implied that you might know how to find a ship? You waste a little time. That's good. There's a cave that leads to the great library at No. The library is reputed to house a very powerful telescope. This should show you where the galleon is headed. Won't you be coming with us? No. I will stay in plan of this attack. We should hurry. The ship could sail out of the telescope's rain. Did Fuge take your wife? Camille. We were due to be married. Until they stole her from me. I'll get her back. No matter what. I know you're thinking about Jennifer, but we will find her. Oh. Oh. 
Training to fight Fuge on your own? If I have to. How old are you? Old enough to know when my mother needs me. My father and I are the only hope she has. Is it too cold for you? If my hands go numb, it may affect my aim. And you wouldn't want that, would you? Is Haven really as secure as it appears to be? Wait! Although my father can hear you, he can't answer. When Fuge came for my mother, he had my father's tongue ripped out. A warning to others who protested so loudly. I'm sorry. Don't be. He's just biding his time till he can settle the score. I'd better get back. I haven't finished training. If you value your life... It's called the Web of Death. It's quite difficult to master, but it's very effective. Incidentally, I'm John, and that's my brother Ben. Listen, I know my expertise is intimidating, but you should try it. You're good. You learn quickly. Yes, but the true test is executing the move successfully during combat. Well, I'll know that soon enough. Thank you for your help. everyone. Who knows? Hiding in some bushes, waiting to leap out on the next poor unsuspecting soul that passes? Thank you. 
So this is the Great Library of No. Do you know much about this place? The library was once a school that taught the magical arts. But since Silver outlawed magic, the school has been closed. Something seems wrong. <laughs> Who, or rather what, were they? They appeared to be some type of imp. They looked devilish. Be wary. But they are small, insignificant against our swords. And if there are a hundred more imps inside? I'll destroy them all. We'd better hurry then. I'm not as young as I used to be. I can't force the door open. Step aside. Let me try. Fortunately for you, I must have stressed the lock when I forced the door myself. Yes, Grandfather. Somebody? Anybody? Help me! Sorry, I quite forgot myself. How rude I must seem. Thank you for helping me with those, uh, those creatures. How could I ever repay you? Well, the Duke led us to believe that there is a telescope within the library. If you could help us locate it, we would be very grateful. Yes, yes, of course. There is a telescope in the observatory that's right at the top of the library. Oh, uh, but, but what? To Ronas the Diabolist is there. I'm sure he'd help, but he can't be quite uncivil. And unfortunately now isn't a good time. I'm afraid he's unwittingly opened a portal to another dimension, allowing those little imps you so efficiently disposed of to enter ours. He must close it before we're completely overrun. If necessary, we could help close the portal. As long as we locate Jennifer and the ship first. Please. Just be careful. This Tyronus character could prove to be an important ally. He has an imposing demeanor, but I'm sure he'll help you with the telescope. What about you? You're not equipped for confrontation, and I'm afraid you'll be perfect target practice. I, I must admit, I do have a tendency to panic when taken by surprise, but I can run quite fast. I'll be fine. Try to be of some use and run for help.
Your adventures have been many. I will record them in my book, 